Welcome back to Chasing the Sun. I'm glad you came back for episode three of our Quebec segment. If you want to see the rest of our Cross Canada road trip, then please click here, starting with the very first episode from when we left Vancouver. That really does feel like such a long time ago now. So this week, we bring you to a nice little getaway called Isle d'Orines, where we try out a winery, a cidery, and a gourmet chocolatey, and climb a tall tower. Here we go! Okay, so we are in Quebec. Let's get a flag update, Kirsten. So, right now, this is our little flag. It kind of like slid down. It used to be up, like, up to here and it slid down. It's been through rain, it's been through sun, it's been through so much. You can see the colors kind of faded. I'm not sure if the video can see it, but yeah. It's got even more frayed since last time. It's like very fluffy and soft. And yeah, mm -hmm. this will be our last flag update. Yep. Well, it's good to know that our Canadian identity is still intact. It's still flying strong, right? Yep. Ile d'Orléans, which translates as Island of Orleans, is 5 kilometers east of Quebec City. It is the biggest island on the St. Lawrence River and is connected to the mainland by a suspension bridge. The island was one of the first parts of the province that was colonized by the French and a large percentage of French Canadians can trace their ancestry back to this island. In 1535, Jacques Cate visited and gave it the name of Bacchus because of the lush vines growing there. Now it's a great destination for a day trip away from the city. The countryside feel with the wineries and the local arts and shops makes for a laid-back exploration. The main road is Chemin Royal, which runs along the perimeter of the island. It is recommended to drive it counterclockwise as you explore the many interesting stops. There are wineries, cheese shops, sugar shacks, and even orchards where you can pick your own strawberries and apples. You can visit this government website to see all there is to do on this island. For us, we visit a winery, an artisan chocolate shop, a cidery with tasting over a beautiful patio, and got treated to the very exclusive Very Berry Cafe. What is this? Thank you. The Very Berry Restaurant. This it's is the re Very Berry no, Restaurant? No, over there. Go sit over there. Hello, welcome to the Very Berry Restaurant. What would, you, what would you like to have today? On the menu today, our special is the Very Berry Soup. Then we have a berry salad, and mm. then we have a few side dishes. How about a burger and fries? No. Oh. You know, I will try your soup then. Okay. Thank you. Merci. So, here is your soup. Mm. Oops, it's over. Okay, there is your soup. And then we gave you a little side dish of salad. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I, need, I, need plants, little, okay? I need little forks to thank go with this. And a spoon. Time. A tiny little spoon. Take your time. Don't eat okay. all at once, okay? <laughs> this is their very berry soup and very berry salad. Here's your spoon, sir. I think you should consider changing your name to Very Small Soup and Very Small Salad. Okay. Hi, how may I help you? Oh, where are we? We're at the Very Very Cafe. Oh, Very Very Very, very Cafe. Yeah. Oh, it's really neat. Yes. So, at the moment, we have a starter salad. Okay. We have a Very Very Soup. And we have a Berry Stew. Stew? I want the very soup. I have the salad. Okay, another salad and the Wow, stew. this is so neat. Wait a minute, this looks just like the soup. No, because 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 um the soup is actually like the stew is more chunky. Oh. Ah. See, and the soup is liquidy. True. Okay, thank you. I will put you on Google review. So this is the very berry creations. Here you go. Another dish. Wow, very nice. What is that? Salad. Oh, beautiful, girls. Okay, ladies, can you tell me a bit about your shop, the Very Berry Restaurant and Cafe? How so did it start all, and why did it start? Um, so all of our ingredients are natural. The acorns, the little plates are acorn, are like the toppings of acorns. The okay. berries are, we don't know what they are, so don't eat them, but you know. We switched them up for the soup and then we added a few little decoration berries and the for the salad 
We used a little bit of grass and a little bit of the Oh yeah, like a few leaves. Very natural. Very good. Very farm to table. Yeah. Organic. I love it. Yeah, it looks really, really good actually. Rosé or one red? Ah. Oh, yeah, I want red. He wants rosé. Yeah. What, what was the first one? Uh, Parfait Acadie. After oh. it's en vol, and the third one it's Rivoli. Okay, so we are here at Saint Pierre for wine tasting. Mm -hmm. Saint Pierre is actually on an island called Orlean Island, I think. It's, whatever it is in French, I think it's called uh, Orlean Island. It's Isle d'Orlean. So I think the translation is Orlean Island, but it's a cool little island, 30 minutes outside from Quebec City. Definitely worth checking out. Very scenic, uh, lots of artisanal little shops, wineries, chocolate shops mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So yeah, we are right now in St. Pierre Winery. Yeah. So here at the winery, uh, I think the tasting is very, very good um, for the price. $5 for four tastings. Uh, and. Um, I think they're very good with their white wine, so that's why we purchased one. So the first, uh, the first white wine we tried is actually called Perfume da Cali. Okay, and um, the reason why we bought this wine is because it has a very, very strong buttery taste to it. So it was, it tasted really good. So that's why we bought one. And um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend the red. The red is, it's not good at all in my opinion. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you do, you get three whites and one red or rosé mm -hmm. with the tastings, obviously four tastings. Everyone has a different palette, so you know you might like it, you might not. We liked one out of the four, um, but what I really do like about this is just the scenery. Uh, you're on this patio overlooking the winery, very scenic. Uh, the wine shop itself is quite quaint and pretty, so definitely worth a stopover and you know for five bucks. Why not? It's the experience you're paying yes, for. That's definitely right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now we are on to chocolate shop, artisanal chocolate tray. Look at that, they have hazelnut truffle, cognac, cognac truffle, cognac, dark chocolate, cayenne pepper, I'm going to try that, black tea and chamomile dark chocolate. So what do we have here? We have a bunch of hand selected chocolates, I chose nine different flavors. Andrew had some pistachio cookie bars or chocolate bars it looks like, literally bars. And then what is this Andrew? Like a shell. Macaroons. Macaroons. Oh, that's not macaroons. Coconut. You don't know coconut? macaroons? Where have you been living for the last decades? And then what are these? These almond are barks. Chocolate. chocolate barks. Chocolate with almond. Really? What's in there is you got hazelnut truffle and you got cognac truffle. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah. Yes. What do you get? I got, I got the today. very berry sundae. So the girls just came out of the ice cream shop waited in line for quite a while, what, 15, 20 minutes? Was it worth it? Yeah? <laughs> I liked it. The ice cream itself is super creamy, I love that. And even the sherbet that they had, the sorbet, what was that flavor, orange? That's mango. Mango and, and the strawberry. Uh, sorbet is really good. It's not like other sorbets where it's more citrus and more like ice. This one actually is creamy to it, so. I'm not sure if they mix ice cream with it or not. But yeah, I, I liked it. I actually like the sorbet more than the, uh, the ice cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Andrew and I went to a chocolate shop. Had some really nice selections of chocolate. 
which we haven't tried yet, except for the macaroon. Yeah, so we're gonna try that tonight with um, some wine. <laughs> so this is the uh, chocolate that we got from the Chocolaterie de Ile d'Orleans. Basically, we did two flavors of each. So Andrew and I are gonna try this and enjoy it tonight. Lunch here, yeah. picnic basket and all. It's cute. There's some cheeses, some cheeses. Oh, it's more than just cider. Look at what they make here. Bonjour. Are these jams? Uh, jams, jellies, mustards, radish, ketchup, oh. salsa. All Everything's made here. Yes. Oh, nice. So it's four dollars for small tasting and eight dollars for five shooter size. Yeah, right here. Wait, four times eight. Oh, these are all the shops around here. Not That's all cool. of them, but most of them. Most of them. Main ones. Any that you would highly recommend that we check out? Um, this winery. That winery. Cheese factory. Oh, uh, this okay. is another cidery. Uh -huh. This spot on the island is very nice too. Okay. And then you have chocolate factory on the other side oh, of the island. Yeah, we went there. That's and really if you good. Want to eat at some places. There's two here. Mm. Where are we now? Here. Right okay, here. so we're just continuing. Yeah, so it's coming. Yeah. What is this? Is it a winery? Yeah, winery. That's a winery, cidery, and cheese. Okay, let's do cheese. This is so cute. Oh, no. So we got four tastings of the cidery. It seems like cidery is quite uh, popular on this island, is that right? Yeah, well there's many archer, so... Oh, okay. We got our cidery. If we buy cider, any of this is not right? One is Fantasia. Fantasia. Cheers, 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 cheers. Uh -oh. cheers, cheers. cheers. We enjoyed our visit to the Saturday, especially the tasting as we sat on their gorgeous patio. Definitely something to check out when you're on the island. The other thing that we were told to check out is the Tour du Nord, which is at the north end of the island. It's a 20 meter tower with stairs, which if you climb, you are treated to this beautiful view of the island. Chase the Sun. I'm Eric. I'm Janie. I'm Kirsten. I'm Mariana. I'm Amy. And I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing our wrap up for Quebec City. And uh, we wanted to share with you what our experience was of Quebec City, what we liked, what we didn't like. Mm -hmm. Anyone want to start? What was their favorite, most memorable thing, and what they didn't like, maybe? I had the best meal, the sort of that cuisine that night mm, that we went out. Yes. Janie and Eric took oh, us out yes. for a double date night, and we had, oh, it's just. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, at Le Regine. Yeah. yeah, so that was a really good meal. Um, Quebec is pretty. Architecture, the architecture is pretty. I, I like it. Uh, the food we had, it was overall was good. Uh, that meal was excellent, but the rest was good too, right? Oh, because he loves his cheese fondue, yeah. Um, what mm -hmm. don't I like about Quebec? Oh, wow. Well, our first night when we got there, the lady wasn't very happy with us taking picture and she yes. stuck a finger at us. That was a bad first impression. That but, was interesting. <laughs> that was, and then me and Ariana actually walk up and ask her, did you uh, did you give a finger to us? <laughs> I wanted to know, uh, did we make, did I actually see you do that? And then she, oh, no, no, I just I thought you guys were taking a picture of me. I didn't want to be in picture. I said, so you have to stick a finger because you didn't like it? <laughs> and she did. And then her, her buddy across the street was um, across from the table and said, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good, right? They, they were surprised mm -hmm. that we actually went and talked to them. So yeah. that didn't start the uh, Quebec the vibe. Didn't, for me, it didn't start very well. But after that, you know, seeing this, how pretty the city is, the food, then the rest of the people we met were, were pretty nice after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We actually did a lot of things in, you know, in a short three days, actually, in Quebec. Mm. 
we went to visit the winery, we took the ferry, we did like the walking tour, we went on a walking tour. Like overall, we explore, actually explore uh, uh, Quebec City and um, I, I really enjoy the city myself because, you know, the weather was nice, number one, it wasn't humid or anything, but it was just perfect. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, like the scenery was nice, the city was clean, like I, I, I didn't expect and we didn't see too many, you know, people on the, you know, on the street, you know, but overall, the food was good. Um, love learn the history of uh, of Quebec City. That that was great. that was interesting. Yes, was learning interesting. about the French and the, how the British came in. Yeah. I, I spent a lot of the time asking questions on the museum that we went mm -hmm. to. What Abraham Museum? Uh, Plains uh, of Abraham Museum. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. I learned a lot about the history. It was quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How about you girls? What did you girls like about Quebec City? Mm -hmm. I like the island that we went to because of the winery. Mm. And then we had because of the winery? You didn't taste any wine. Yeah, but then, but then we had our little cafe thing. Oh, yes, yeah, you're very, very, very cafe there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very. Nice. They were very creative that they found like berries from the trees or is it acorns? Yes, yeah. acorns. Acorn was became so the dish. Very, yeah, became one of the main dish. Yes. Yep, yes, kept yourself busy while we were sipping wine on the patio. What do you like? Mm. I actually like two things. I like the, the Plains of Abraham Museum and walking around the old town. Mm. Yeah, for me, um, Quebec City is beautiful. It's charming. It's like Montreal in the way that it's old buildings, but it's really colorful, much more colorful than Montreal. So I really like that. That adds to the charm. Uh, the street, I feel the old town is longer for some reason. Amy walked a long time. Uh, but the, yes, the, thirteen thousand steps. Yes, um, so the the town itself is is uh, four point six kilometer and bigger and cleaner. I think that's what I really like. But not much graffiti around, um, not many homeless around. The weather worked out for us. It it was like perfect. Um, so I really liked Quebec City a lot. I don't know what would be a favorite thing for me. Probably the the dinner experience. That was a really good uh, restaurant. The experience, everything, the food, the ambience, the company, everything was like. Mm, it was a great evening. Mm -hmm. So that left a very lasting impression. Quebec City is definitely on my to come back list. Mm -hmm. How are you, Andrew? Yeah, I love Quebec. It's, um, it reminds me, uh, I come from Europe, and uh, it, the feeling, the feel of the city and the way people behave, they walk, they dress, um, it, uh, it, it feels not like North America, it feels more like Europe. And um, definitely the fact that we had chocolate tasting. That by itself would have put the, um, the um, city on the top of the list. But then we also had wine tasting and we had an amazing deal and uh, of course fondue. Like I'm, who cannot? <laughs> oh, I thought there are some people who don't like fondue. I'm not going to point fingers because it's very not nice to point fingers. <laughs> But um, Amy also discovered um, a nunnery um, and she decided that she wants to be a temporary nun for 24 hours. So you know, I'm looking forward to see how that's going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> so we had lots of fun. We, had, uh, we met interesting people and definitely it, it was one of the highlights of our trip. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel for more upcoming food and travel adventures. I hope you enjoyed the Quebec segment of our Cross Canada trip. We sure did. It'll definitely be on our visit again list. My favorite was the poutine. Our Canada road trip has not ended yet, so check back with us next week when we go visit Ottawa.